What's going on everybody? Today I'm taking a look at the new update that EA have put into Hockey Ultimate Team starting tomorrow. It is called Hut Series 2. Basically what it is, is all of the 700 base gold cards in the game are getting a boosted upgrade and all of the cards are going to look like this one here with the green and the gray outline. So all of the gold cards are going to get an upgrade and then players that have been playing well in their season so far are going to get a bigger upgrade such as Matthews, Crosby, McDavid, Tarasenko and Burns who are featured on the webpage here. All of these players are going to also be accompanied with one of the 18 new synergies that EA have put into the game as well. I will get to those later on. So, starting tomorrow, you are going to be able to start earning these players. What you can already start doing tomorrow is you can put five gold common players into a pack. The starter pack that they give you at the beginning of the game is going to be a resemblance of this pack that you can get for putting five common players players in the set. You're going to get 24 common Hut Series 2 players, five untradeable contracts, one healing item, one arena, one logo, and two jerseys. I'm not sure how they're going to be. It would be kind of cool if they, if they brought back old stuff. So let's say the arenas could be like Maple Leaf Gardens, for example. If they could bring back old logos like the Nordiques and the Rockies that you can actually put on your team. And if they release jerseys such as the All-Star Game jerseys or the new Winter Classic jerseys that they have in this game. Also, you can put in 20 Gold Rare players and get 10 Series 2 Gold Rare players back from that. So if you have a bunch of Gold Rare players in your club that you're not going to be using... Put those into the set and you can get some Series 2 players. And you can also trade in 10 Gold Rare players for 5 Series 2 Gold players. So, getting to the new synergies they have in this game. There are 18 of them. Some of them are pretty cool, some of them aren't, which is already how it is right now. Some of the synergies they released in the beginning are kind of useless. And nobody really uses them. So, I'm glad they've put in more synergies so you can have more of a variety with your team. So, some of the synergies here, 200 foot player, breakaway boss... Hold the blue line, clean checker, call the shot, defensive sentiment, immovable object, puck hog, rough and tumbler, and shoot first, takeaway king, and unstoppable. Now, moving on to the team synergies, there's end-to-end -end awareness, line brawlers, level-headed leadership, powerhouses, wrecking crew slash demolition derby, which looks absolutely sick. Acceleration, balance, body checking, and strength. Any player with that synergy is going to be a beast. And also X-Ray Vision as the last one here. So this is the new update they're adding to NHL 17. Personally, I think it's going to kind of leave those gold base cards that were originally in the game pretty useless. A lot of those gold cards are already useless. Nobody uses any of the players that are like 82 and below. Also, if you have base players in your team right now that are good, like I have Taze, for example, Sege. These players are going to be getting upgrades and their cards, their Hut Series 2 cards are going to be worth so much more than their big gold base cards. One thing also to mention is that these cards are going to be really expensive at the start. They're new into the game. Everyone's going to want them. Everyone's going to want to try them. Even if some of the cards aren't even good, they're going to be expensive regardless. So if you have a whole bunch of coins, yeah, you can try some of them out. But if you don't have a lot of coins, I wouldn't recommend putting your money into these right away. Wait a little bit, see if some of them are actually decent and worth the price, and then I would purchase them. Also, a cool thing about these is that some of the players that had previous cards, such as Pasternak, such as Justin Schultz, I guess that Cassian could also be an example here too, who have had gold base cards before that were really garbage and no one really wanted to use them. Now you have a chance to use an actual good card from them. It's basically like a super boosted inform card, which is pretty exciting. Pasternak's card is going to be really cool. So one last thing to add about this is that I'm not really sure how this is going to really work out. With respect to packs and sets, are they going to have Hut Series 2 packs and regular gold packs still? Or is it only going to be Hut Series 2 packs? Are they going to have Hut Series 2 sets and then Hut and then regular gold sets? The players that you add to Hut Hero sets, are they going to be Hut Series 2 players? Or are they going to be the gold players? I don't really know if EA have thought this through completely. I think they kind of maybe rushed a little bit into this mode. But I guess tomorrow we will see the final product and I will also be out with a video on that. Maybe I'll be opening some packs with Hut Series 2 players. Maybe we'll have a bit of a better explanation as to how this is how this is all going to work. Anyways, there we go. I just want to show you guys the new addition of Hut Series 2 into the game. Starting tomorrow, you will be able to get these players, trade these players, do whatever you want with them, play with them. Wow, that sounded really bad. Okay, anyways, always remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next video.